we are given a transformation from R3 to R2 given by T of the vector x1, x2, x3 equals the vector x3, x1. We're asked to find a non-zero vector in the kernel of T. The kernel of T is a set of all input vectors x in our n such that T of vector x equals the zero vector. So in our case, we're looking for a non-zero vector x in R3 with components x1, x2, and x3 where t of the vector x equals the zero vector, which we know lives in R2, and therefore we have the vector zero, zero. But we know this output vector is the vector x3, x1, and therefore it follows that x3 must equal zero, and x1 must equal zero. But notice how x2 does not appear in the output vector, but notice how x2 does not appear in the output vector, and therefore x2 can be any real number. Let's let x2 be equal to t, and therefore all the vectors x in the kernel of t must be in the form of zero t zero, or if we factor out the t, we have t times the vector zero one zero. This indicates that any scalar multiple of the vector zero one zero would be in the kernel of t, meaning, meaning t of the vector would be equal to the zero vector. And we're only asked to find one non-zero vector in the kernel of t. So we can let t be any value. If we let t equal one, for example, we can use a non-zero vector, zero, one, zero. I hope you found this helpful.